Hi guys, I'm Brandy with Eternal Harvest. Do you want to know how to get a farmhouse door out of one of your regular doors in your house? Stick with me and I'll show you how. Okay guys, I'm going to start off really quickly by giving you a list of materials. The first thing you're going to want to do is find your planks. Now I found these at my blue big box store and I'll go ahead and put a link. They're pretty thin which makes them, and they're really lightweight which makes them great for this project. So determine the width of your door. That'll tell you how many of these planks you need by doing some math. Sorry, I know you were told there would be no math. There is. Um, and then get that number of planks. I think I got six for about ten bucks. And they're about three and a half inches wide. Um, and they come by eight feet long. So depending on your design, you can use them for that. Next, you're gonna want some really good glue. I use this Gorilla Glue. It works out great. You dampen the door, wash it off, put this directly on, and then put your planks right on top. Um, you're gonna want this pine molding that is just these really thin strips. They're about the same um, thickness as those planks. And you're just gonna use that to case out the design that you're making. I used them, I guess you don't have to. It's something that I like. I think it gives it a good finished look. You're gonna want a finished nailer to go ahead and nail these in once they're glued. You're gonna need some primer and some paint or stain depending on what look you're going for. And that's it. And then the door, I guess you need your door. <laughs> Whatever door you've got that you're ready to change, that's all you need. Determine your design, figure out how many planks you need, and you can get started right away. I forgot to add that you're gonna need a miter saw and a jigsaw. You can do the whole job with just a jigsaw. Miter makes things a little bit easier sometimes. But there are a lot of angles in this one that I made because of the X, so the jig came in handy. Now one thing that I'd like to point out really quickly before we get into this build is determine your design first and remember that whatever design you decide to make, it's going to be a flat design. A lot of farmhouse doors, like this one behind me, there's some layering. There's a back and then there's the X that's on top of the backing. Your door is acting as the backing. So whatever design you make, you can't put very much on top of that. So the X that I made along with the straight planks, they all lay next to each other. There's nothing layered on top. So just keep that in mind as you're designing your door. Remember that it all needs to be flat in the end and it needs to not be too heavy for your door to open and close as usual. Here's the standard interior door that my customer brought to me. It's hollow core. I laid it out and began measuring, nailing, and gluing the outside frame pieces. This is a dry fit of the X. I lay it out, mark it, and begin cutting. Always dry fit first. This is where the angles get a little tricky. So you wanna dry fit the X out and then mark on each piece and use your jig to cut those angles. Once the dry fit is complete, you can begin to glue all those pieces down and fill all the nail holes. And then here's where I added primer. You may notice the stain along the lines of the X's. This client wanted it distressed and I always stain first, use a little Vaseline before I prime, and then when I'm finished painting, I can wipe it off and it shows a little distressing there. Just a little technique. And here it is, all complete, all done. You can see where I've wiped away the Vaseline to make it look distressed, that stain is showing through. And now I just add the handle back on and it can go right back on the hinges. Super easy and all done. Thanks for watching. Give me a like and don't forget to subscribe.